Assalamu alaikum, hello dinosaurs, it's your Muslim friend Dina. So my appearance has changed. Why? How? When? What's going on? Let's talk about it. Let's go! My faith is between me and God. This year I have been learning a ton about my faith, about myself, about psychology, religion, philosophy, everything and I've just been studying a lot. I feel like this is a great time in quarantine to study and learn. If wearing a headscarf improves your faith, please wear a headscarf. I think you should be allowed to wear a hijab or a headscarf without being judged, without being persecuted, without being attacked. You should be allowed to wear what you want to wear in peace. Also, I think that if you choose to not wear a headscarf, you should also be allowed to not wear a headscarf in peace. When it comes to faith, faith is something between you and God, not between everybody. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Wearing a headscarf is a choice. Choice means something, guys. The word choice means you can say yes, and it also means you can say no. It also means you can say maybe. Choice, that's, that's what it means. It doesn't mean yes, for sure, it's a choice, but you gotta wear it. That's not a choice, that's a demand. You can't say it's a choice, but you can't wear it. It's not a choice. That's also a demand. That is not how wearing a headscarf works. That's not how faith works. So when it comes to wearing a headscarf, yes, wearing a hijab is a choice. If you choose to wear it and if it improves your faith, please wear it, please keep doing it if it's benefiting you. For me personally, wearing it has simply come to a point where it's hurting me spiritually. If you wanna wear a hijab, you should be allowed to wear a hijab. If you don't want to wear a hijab, you should be allowed to not wear a hijab. And in both instances, you should be allowed to do so peacefully, without people judging you, or persecuting you, or being rude, or whatever. And I think the thing here is not about religion. It seems to be a lot about sexism and people trying to control women. Because no matter what a woman does, no matter how much she covers, no matter how much she doesn't cover, she still gets harassed about what she looks like, and about how sexual or not sexual she is perceived. No matter what, there's constantly people trying to control women and the way they look. It has nothing to do with religion. It's the way a lot of our cultures are set up, unfortunately, and that's something that needs to change. I think that wearing a headscarf can be very liberating. If you choose to wear a headscarf and it improves your faith, you can feel free. When I wore a headscarf, I felt free. I chose to wear a headscarf, and I've simply come to a time where I choose not to wear a headscarf. Both of them are my choice. That's best for me, for the version of Dina that I am right now. And for whatever version of you that you are now, you should do what you think is best for you. If your faith is dependent on somebody else's clothing, if your faith is dependent on somebody else's actions, I'd say you don't have any faith. Because if you truly believed in God, you would have peace of mind, right? You'd have peace of heart. But if you're getting anxious or angry or, you know, being negative, that means like writing rude comments, saying rude things to people, no matter how somebody looks, that shows that you don't personally have faith. If something irritates you about somebody else, other people are your mirror. You should really ask yourself, like just from a psychological point of view, why is this thing irritating me about somebody? Why is this making me angry? Why does this make me sad? All of our emotions are simply just feedback for us. All good emotions, all bad emotions, all of the emotions are just feedback for us to think about ourselves. All negative emotions, the angry, the sad, all of those kinds of emotions, that is telling you something. You need to search something within yourself. Islam is between you and God. Like that's the, that's the main thing about Islam. Like that's one of the main things about Islam. You can speak directly to God. You can be directly with like, you don't need a middle person. There are no saints. There are no lesser gods. There is nothing like no kind of a hierarchy like that. Like in Catholicism, you have to confess your sins to like a priest and then the priest asks for your forgiveness. There's nothing like that in Islam. Islam is directly between you and God. Not between you, the whole community, your mom, your brother, your sister, people like like random guys, random ladies. No, 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 no. It's between you and God. So there's that. Also, another thing, somebody's outward appearance does not somehow quantify. Okay, I'm using way too many fancy words. You cannot judge somebody's faith based on the way that they look. There are plenty of people, thousands I'd say, thousands of people that wear a headscarf, that look outwardly Muslim, but they do things that are against Islam, that are for sure big no-nos. And frankly, we're all humans, we can all ask for forgiveness, that's 
the whole like that's a huge part of the Holy Quran God's constantly telling us how he is the most forgiving so even if you do those kinds of things ask for forgiveness work on changing but the thing is just because you wear a headscarf you can't be like oh she wears a headscarf she's the perfect believer she's got to do everything perfectly but you also can't say oh she doesn't wear a headscarf oh my god her faith sucks because you can't tell what's in somebody's heart based on the cloth that's on their head you don't know that you're not with this person you're not god right other than that there's a lot of points that i could make but i will not make because this video is not that's not the point of this video and i'm also not going to be discussing the entirety of culture and religion and everybody's opinions and psychology there's a lot of things involved too many ain't nobody got time for that i would just suggest for you please look into yourself if somebody else's clothing choices elicit or make you feel negative emotions check yourself why is that ask yourself some questions and go from there because you also deserve to be happy now if you're one of those people that's like dina i don't give a flying banana six what you choose to wear or don't wear why are you even making this video dude thank you high five Ooh, jellyfish i think the biggest shock is going to come for the people that i've known for like 11 years or less because i started wearing a headscarf 11 years ago so if you've known me like from high school until now, oh my God, I started high school 11 years ago. Whoa, I'm old. Okay, anyways, so if you've known me from high school until now, this is obviously going to be a big change, but honestly, we probably haven't seen each other anytime recently. So, A, people change. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and keep evolving dinosaurs. Bye-bye.